Hello everyone. I have not been here for a long time, but hi, hi, hi. Um, I hope everyone is okay. I'm going to try and share this because I'm going to talk about something that's really important. Just let, let me know if you can hear me. I'm trying to find it. Okay, here we go. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, good. The sound is great. I'm going to share it in my group. Um, it's not going to share in my group here, but I'm going to share it on my personal profile and then share it in the group later because I wanted to just talk about something. I'm filming, redoing my parenting after trauma course for, um, for a new platform. So I'm doing the videos over. If you've not taken that course yet and you're a parent and you've experienced childhood trauma, you really do need to take that course. It's going to change your life and change your children's life and generations to come. But that's a side note. So I was filming and I lost my password. I always forget my passwords. When when it comes up and it says, what's your password? I always panic, like my heart goes, because I always forget my passwords. I have too many and I don't remember. When I, when I start and I write my passwords, I always think, yeah, this one's clever. I'm going to remember this one, but I never remember it. And so I'm here and I'm having to wait on support. Hey, I'm not sure who's here, but hello. I'm having to wait on support to get back to me with my new password or a link that I can reset my password. So I decided to come and talk to you. So I'm talking about fear. I was terrified until I did this one thing. And this, you know, I'm always talking about having a village and what that means and how that will change your life. Um, I know that in our community, we're people who have experienced childhood trauma. So trust is not a natural thing for us. Some of us have had to learn how to trust people. Um, and I always say, if I don't trust you, that's my problem, not yours. I need to go work on why I don't trust you. Um, maybe I don't have safe boundaries or maybe you don't have safe boundaries. Maybe you're not a safe person. Or maybe I'm not a safe person. So I need to go work out and figure out what that looks like and what, why I don't trust. So saying that, I've been recently going through some challenges, some health challenges. Um, and I was, you know, I went and did some tests two weeks ago I was absolutely terrified guys I had to practice everything I teach you about mindset everything I had to practice everything about around managing negative automatic thoughts I have to implement them I because I wanted to stay in a place of peace because whatever the result was going to be I needed to be at peace I had to everything I tell you works because too often I've had to live it. I've had to walk in the path and learn how to, you know, know what the activating event is, my belief around the activating event and the consequences. Sometimes when I saw my children, I thought, oh gosh, they're gonna be motherless. That's how far the subtle, repetitive, negative messages went. I, I just thought I needed to write my will and all that kind of stuff. So I was in the throes of this kind of managing and it was kind of like managing a, you know, something going out and bringing it back in just to keep my thoughts um, at, at a place of peace, you know, so that my body could be at peace. Because if my, my mind is in chaos and turmoil, then I will be in chaos and turmoil and, you know, everything will just be worse. So I was going to talk to someone and, and it came to me just like, share what's going on for you, Joanna, share it. And I thought, no, I won't, I won't do that. I won't tell them. And so they asked me, well, how are you, Joanna? And I like to be honest. If you ask me how I am, I'm going to tell you how I am. Um, sometimes I'll, of course, filter it and tell you in stages, but I'm not going to pretend I'm okay if I'm not. Um, and that's why my, my village is really small because I want people who are authentic. I need people in my circle. And, and you know, listen to this because those are the kind of people that you need too. And if you don't know how to do that, I teach how to do that. Join us in our group, Wounds That Heal, where I do lots and lots of... Um, videos around how to, you know, form yourself a village, how to have safe people in your lives. So my village is really small. The people who I can just be who I need to be on that day with, and they totally accept me and they understand me when I'm, when I'm quirky or when I'm really serious or whatever it is I am that day. They even laugh at my jokes. So they're really good people. So they asked me how I am and I said, and she said, so are you in pain? I said, no. She says, oh, I used to get that. I said, what? <laughs> I didn't know that anybody alive experienced what I did. Um, and that's how we'll magnify situations and how we'll make things really big 
that sometimes isn't because we feel like we're the only one in the world who has experienced this. We're the only one in the world who's going through this and nobody else in the whole wide world has ever gone through that. So she said, oh, I've experienced that. You're going to be fine. I said, it's, it's, it's not a, it's not terminal. <laughs> she, she said, no, I mean, oh, that was such a relief and peace came. So I was terrified until I shared honestly. When I shared honestly, I realized that there was somebody else who had experienced what I experienced and the outcome was positive. You see how important it is to share? So that's the thing though. When we've experienced something and we kind of sit on it on our own and we refuse to talk about it, we refuse to learn how to be vulnerable and how to let people in, we will go off with the mindset with the the negative message that we're the only one there's nobody like us nobody will understand nobody can help me and this doom and gloom will stay with us you know in that place and you know sometimes it build other things will happen as a result we will we'll experience depression and anxiety and, and other stuff will happen okay so i want to encourage you if you don't have anybody to share with come and learn over in wounds that heal how to create curate rather a village what it will look like how to identify people that are not safe and how to have safe people in your life that you can share with and another thing that the, the second message is when we don't talk when we keep the stuff to ourselves and we don't find people that we can authentically share with it feels bigger than it really is and the subtle repetitive negative messages they will take us out it will really you know sap the energy and joy out of life so if there's anything that you have that you're dealing with and you feel like you're alone and there's nobody else in the whole wide world that has ever experienced that, I guarantee you, if you share with somebody who you feel safe enough to talk to, you will find that you will get empathy, you'll get understanding, and there are people who will help you because they've walked that path before you, okay? Be safe today. I'm going to go check if my password reset has come back so I can continue filming Parenting After Trauma. Have yourself a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye.